top of a waterfall. I'm on top of a waterfall. Beautiful. Tell me more. My house is there. My house is there. What does your house look like? Cottage. A cottage. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. Small. Mm -hmm. It has a green roof. It has a what roof? A green roof. A green roof. Mm -hmm. Grass on it. Grass on the roof. It's by the water. By the water. Let's go inside the cottage and see what's there. How do you get inside? Front door. Front door. Mm -hmm. So let's open up that front door and go inside your cottage. Tell me what you see as you walk in. Big wooden table. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? Plates. What else is there? Food. Mm -hmm. What kind of food do you see on the table? Grapes. Grapes. Is anybody sitting at the table? No. No. How many plates are on the table? Are they set? No. No. So let's find out more about your life in that cottage. I want you to close that scene and see yourself in that cottage, at that table, having a meal. Be there now. Look around you. What do you see? Are you alone or with others? With others. With others? Mm -hmm. Who is there with you? My friends. My friends. How many friends are there with you? Three. Three. And as you look at your friends, are they male or female friends? Both, I think. Both. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to look at your hands now. And tell me, these hands, are they male or female hands? Male. Male. I'd like for you to focus on yourself and tell me what you look like there. Look at your arms. What do they look like? There's color to them. There's color to them. What kind of color do you see in your arms? Lots of color. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these colors. Browns and green. Browns and green. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Are they in, in a sort of design? I see circles. Circles. What 
What is your skin like? Is it soft? No. What does it look like? Touch your skin and tell me what it feels like. Rough. Rough. And as you're touching your skin, look down at your hands and tell me what your hands look like. How many fingers do you have? Three. Three fingers. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at your body now. What does your body look like? Very thin. Mm -hmm. Does your body have the same colors as your arms? No. No. What does your body look like? More green. More green. Mm -hmm. What about your legs? Take a look at your legs. Muscular. Muscular. What color are your legs? Green. Green. Mm -hmm. And what do your feet look like? Long. Long feet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have shoes or can you see your toes? Toes. Mm -hmm. How many toes do you have? Four, I think. Four. Mm -hmm. So now, as you're looking at this body, let's find out what your face looks like. Take a look at your head. What do you look like? Different. Different. Does it have a color? Brownish. Mm -hmm. Now, different in what way? You can look at your mouth, for example. What does your mouth look like? Small. Mm -hmm. And your nose? Do you have a nose? Yes. What does your nose look like? It's pointed. A pointed nose? Small. Small pointed nose. Mm -hmm. And look at your eyes. Larger. Larger eyes. How big is your head in comparison to your body? Normal. Very good. Do you have any hair? Lots of hair. Lots of hair. How long is your hair? It's very long. Mm -hmm. Where does it go up to? Or down to? Past my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And what color is this hair?
brownish. Mm -hmm. Does it have any texture to it? Does it is it wavy or straight? What does it look like? It looks like dreadlocks. Like dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, as you're sitting at this table and your friends are with you, what do they look like? One is very small. One is very small. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Almost like a big fairy. Like a big fairy? Mm -hmm. What does his body look like? Like an elf. Like an elf. Mm -hmm. Is he sitting at the table with you? No. Where is he? Next to me. Next to you. Standing. Mm -hmm. Is he a good friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you call him? Does he have a name? How do you identify him? Sam. Sam. Very good. So now let's take a look at your other friends. What do they look like? Bigger. They're bigger? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. One is very big. One is very big. Describe him for me. Bearded. Bearded. Muscular. Mm -hmm. Is there any hair anywhere else in his body? Red hair. Red hair. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Is this red hair throughout his whole body? Or just on his head? Just his head. Okay. How big is this friend of yours? Bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Does this friend of yours wear any clothing? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does his clothing look like? It's armor. Armor? Is the armor on the chest? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there any armor on his legs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's jewels on the armor. There's jewels on the armor? What are the jewels for? What do they represent or are used for? They're 
decoration. Decoration. What do you call this friend of yours? How do you dress him? Telepathically. Telepathically. Very good. And telepathically, as you connect with him, <clears throat> what does his face look like? You said he was bearded. Big flat nose. Big flat nose. Mm -hmm. What do his eyes look like? Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Are they small or large? Large. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else about him that looks interesting? His moccasins. He has moccasins. Very good. So who's the other friend of yours? Similar to me. He's similar to you. Is this friend or of a family of yours? Friend. Friend. Very good. Does he have a name? Or do you speak with him telepathically? Yes. Okay, very good. So now that we have looked around this place, what is the reason for this gathering today? What is the importance of this day of bringing these friends with you together? Sad day. What is it? A sad day? What's happened today? Where are you leading to? Far away place. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Going on a journey. You're going on a journey. Did you decide to go on this journey? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of going on this journey? To help. To help. Who needs your help? Go deeper and deeper. Where is it that you're going to help today? What is this journey about?
I'm going to count from one to three, and when I get to number three, you'll be at that place where the decision is being made about this journey. One, two, and three. Where are you? On a spaceship. On a spaceship. Very good. Describe this spaceship for me. In a small room. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? With others. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Excuse me? My friends. Yeah, your friends. The same friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is the decision that's being made in this room? I'm getting into a chamber. Mm -hmm. What is this chamber for? Take me somewhere. Mm -hmm. What feelings are you feeling as you're doing this? Sad. Sad. Excited. Mm -hmm. Tell me the reason you're sad first. Saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. And excited? Mm. So have you decided to do go on this journey yourself? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to find out when it was that you made the decision to go on this journey. What is this journey about? And what made you make this decision? To help. What is it that needs help? Earth. Earth. What is happening on Earth that needs your help? People. Mm -hmm. What's happening to the people on Earth? Nothing right now. Nothing? Do you know of something that's going to happen on Earth that needs your help? Yes. What's happening on Earth? Change. Change. What kind of change is happening? Evolving. They're evolving? Are the people evolving, evolving or is Earth evolving? Both. Both. This evolution of Earth and its people, is this exciting to you? Yes. What is it about this evolution that's so exciting? What's going to happen? People will wake up. People will wake up. What are they waking up to? Who they are. Who they are. So why is it that you want to be on Earth at this time to feel this waking up? I need to do it. You feel you need to do it? Are you already awakened before going into that chamber? Yes. Mm -hmm. So why would you want to do it again as a human? So 
Somebody has to. Somebody has to? So what is it that you will bring to Earth that will help others wake up? Are you bringing special gifts to Earth? No. No. So what is your presence on Earth going to do to help others? Okay, so are you just going to be there because it's exciting times? Mm. No. No. What is your mission? To help wake people up. Okay, very good. Very good. So let's find out what happens next. What do you do? <coughs> what do you do with your friends in this chamber? Say goodbye. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Where do you go? For sleep. You go to sleep? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you go to sleep, what happens to you? Very good. So let's close that scene. Close that scene and now let's go to the next important scene. Be there now. Where are you now? Do you awaken? No. No. Where are you? In a tree. In a tree. Tell me more. What are you waiting for? Animals. Animals. What do you look like in that tree? Human. Mm -hmm. Be male or female? Male. Male. What do you look like there? What color is your skin? Same. Same. Do you look the same as when you went to sleep? No. No. Describe yourself now. like I do now. Mm -hmm. 
So as you're in this tree, what kind of animals are you waiting, waiting for? Lots of animals. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose for waiting for these animals? What is this gathering for? What is the celebration all about? Life. Mm -hmm. Are you calling these animals? No. No. Do they know that you're waiting for them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you put out a call to them? No. So how do they know to come to you? They just know. They just know. Very good. So I'd like for you to advance that scene. Advance that scene until the animals arrive. And tell me what you see. Dear. Deer. Bears. Wolves. Mm -hmm. Birds. Are you on the ground or still in the tree? I'm in the tree. Mm -hmm. What is the reason why you're up above and not below with them? I like it. You like it up there. Do you live in the trees? No. No. So tell me what happens next as they all gather. What do you do? I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Tell me everything you see and experience. It's a big open plain. Mm -hmm. One big tree. This one big tree in this open plain, is that where you are? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're all gathering around you? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Loved. Loved. Do they all love you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship do you have with these animals? Friends. Friends. Very good. So let's see what happens next. What happens when this gathering? somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Safety. Mm -hmm. What's happening that you need to go to safety?
What do you know is happening? Where do you see this war happening? Where they live. Where they live. So where are you taking these animals? city populated city mm -hmm. are they safe in the city yes mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to see yourself entering this city and tell me what this city looks like city. Mm -hmm. It's old. Mud buildings. Mud buildings. Are the people in the city? Yes. Mm -hmm. And as you enter this city, do you have all of the animals with you? Yes. How do the people react with all these animals? They don't know what to think. Mm -hmm. Is this your city? next close that scene and advance the, the next appropriate scene to find out what happened What do you experience? They're, they're all together. Mm -hmm. Who is all together? All the animals. Mm -hmm. Why not? They're too confined. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel, knowing that you brought me here? Mixed emotion. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? I let some of them go. How does that make you feel? Sad. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I 
There's only so much I can do. Mm-hmm. That's right. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene, leave it behind, and now let's go to another moment in that same lifetime when something important has happened. Be there now. Where are you? Outside the city. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? Others. Mm -hmm. What are you doing outside the city now? Protecting it. Mm -hmm. What do you use for protection? Shield. Shield? Mm -hmm. Are you the only one that has a shield or do others have shields? Others. Mm -hmm. Who are you protecting the city from? And theirs. Mm-hmm. How are these invaders getting to the city? Walking. Mm-hmm. Do you see these invaders? Yes. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Dark. Mm-hmm. Allow the scene to continue and tell me what happens when you meet up with these invaders. It's talking. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What do you talk to them about? Not invading? Mm -hmm. Who is doing the talking? Chief. Chief. Mm -hmm. What role do you play? What do you do there? You're marching? Watching. Oh, you're watching. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happens. Disagreement. Mm-hmm. What are they disagreeing about? more. They leave. No fighting. No fighting. Check in with your emotions and tell me how that that feels. Nobody trusts them. Mm next they leave 
Mm -hmm. I leave. Where do you go? Away. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and be at the place where you go to after you leave the city. the same? Yes. Mm -hmm. On this boat, are you by yourself or are there others with you? Others. Mm -hmm. Where is this boat going to? Where's the boat coming from? Africa. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to take that journey and tell me if there's any signif anything significant that happens on that journey. Anything happen on that journey? No. No. All right. So close that scene and allow yourself to arrive at your destination and tell me where you are. Very busy city. Mm hmm. What city is this that you arrived at? Sicily. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? So let's close that scene, allow yourself to leave that scene, and let's go to the next important scene of that lifetime, the one that has impacted your life. Where are you? Church. Mm -hmm. What's happening in that church? They're building it. Mm -hmm. Are you helping build it? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Stonework. Stone worker. Tell me more. Chiseling the stone. Do you enjoy your work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you see there that's important? I meet someone. You meet someone? Mm hmm. Who do you meet? A woman. A woman. 
What is her name? Teresa. Take a look at Teresa's eyes. The eyes are the window to your soul. Do you recognize those eyes of Teresa and anyone that you know in the lifetime of Sean? Do they seem familiar? Yes. Very good. So let's see what happens after you meet Teresa. Fast forward and see what happens with Teresa. family. How do you feel in this life? Happy. Happy. The, what does Teresa call you? What is your name? Andre. Mm -hmm. So, Andre, as you look at your family, how many children do you have? Two. Two. Are they male or female? Both. Both. So, feel these two children and absorb their aura, their soul memory. Do you recognize them in anyone that you know now? Do they seem familiar? No. No. Very good. So now let's close that scene. Close that scene, Andre, and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself accelerating through time and space until the last day of your life. And tell me where you are. Church. Church. Tell me what you're doing in church. Working. Mm -hmm. There's an accident. What happens? Something falls. Mm -hmm. What happens to you? Something falls on my head. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I die. Mm -hmm. So as your body dies, I'd like for your spirit to leave that body behind. And as you look back at that lifetime, every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What did you learn from that lifetime? love. You seem to have had love of the animals and the love of your family. So 
So as you drift away from that lifetime, I'd like for you to tell me how that lifetime is affecting Sean now. How is he being affected by this lifetime? What is it about that lifetime he needed to see today to understand? To let go. To let go. What is he holding on to that he needs to let go? Life plan. His life plan. Why does he need to let go of his life plan? Is it too rigid? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is his life supposed to be in this lifetime? What's his mission or his purpose? What did he come to Earth to do in this lifetime? To help. To help. Now we saw that as this being that was called to Earth. He was being called to help during this time of awakening. Is this the same mission that he's on? Yes. Mm -hmm. So where was this other life of his where he was so sad to leave? Was that a different planet? A different dimension? Yes. yes. Does that have planet have a name? Arcturus. What is it? Arcturus. Arcturus. Mm -hmm. So why is this Arcturian here now? How is he helping by being here? To be the change. To be the change. Mm -hmm. How can Sean be the change? Helping others. Does he have some sort of a superpower that allows him to help others? No. No. So how is it? He says he's a very peaceful person. How does his being help others?
what is it about Sean that's important in helping awaken others? Helps you through the bullshit. Ah. And by seeing through, how does that help others? Get a better understanding of things in their life. Okay. So he counsels them? No. No. He understands them better? Yes. Okay, good. So right now, he has a job where it's for more fun-related things. Is that helping? Does he use his job to help others? He's not sure. You're not sure. Now, he told me that he saw a past life where he was a man as an avatar and two companions, one that was looked like a Viking, and Toth, the god. Was this the same lifetime we just saw? In space. In space. What is it about space? So... So he lives in space? Sometimes. Sometimes. And when he's in space, what does he do there? Would you show him that image again? Commander of a ship. He's the commander of a ship. Mm hmm. And when he's the commander, what does he look like there? What form does he take? See the body. See the hands and the feet. See the face. What do you look like on that spaceship? Blue. Mm hmm And as a commander on the spaceship, what is your role there? What do you do on that spaceship? Travel. You travel. Do you ever travel to any other place besides space? Do you go, for example, to inner Earth or anything else like that? Or to the surface of Earth or any other planets? No. No. Where do you stay? In Earth? In space? On the ship. On the ship. Mm -hmm. Do you have a home? A home planet? Or is the ship your home? Your home planet. And where is your home planet? What is the home planet? Does it have a name? Same as the other time. Yes. Very good. All right. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and let's see why it is that Sean has this fascinating fascination with war. He wants to know. 
if he was a soldier or any other or participated in any other wars throughout Earth's history. So I'm going to count from three back to one, and as we count back to one, I'm going to touch your forehead, and when we get to number one, you will see what war you participated in. Three, going back through time and space. Two, looking for that war. And one, be there now. What do you see? Mm, on a plane. On a plane. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm flying a plane. Flying a plane. Is this a large plane or a small plane? Small. Small. What is the reason why you're flying this plane today? Where are you going? Over water. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Tell me about these ships. There's lots of ships. Lots of ships. Where are these ships going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Is it just a fleet of ships on the in the ocean? By land. Mm -hmm. Where is this land? Where are you by? France. What is the purpose for flying near France today? Training. Mm -hmm. What is it you're training for? Protection. So allow yourself now to accelerate to the time when you are now going through that training. Be there now. What do you see? Germany. Tell me more. What's happening? A German suit. Mm -hmm. You have a German suit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm shooting at targets on the ground. Mm -hmm. The targets. Mm -hmm. What's happening as you shoot at these targets? They're running. Mm -hmm. 
What nationality are these people that you're shooting at? What country are you shooting at? Polish. Tell me more. What happens next? No other planes. What is it? There's no other planes. No other planes. You're by yourself? No enemy planes. How does that make you feel? Invincible. Mm-hmm. You're handling this on your own? Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What happens then? Lots of destruction. Mm-hmm. Where do you go after you've finished with these targets? Go home. Mm-hmm. Where is home? Germany. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene. Let's close this scene and now let's go to the next important scene of that lifetime. The one that impacted you the most. Where are you? Flying. Lots of ships, Mm -hmm. lots of planes. Who do these ships and planes belong to? The U.S. The U.S. How do you feel as you look at these ships and planes? Angry. Mm Mm-hmm. Why do you feel angry? They want to kill us. So what happens? I attack. Describe it. What happens? I attack the ships. I dive bomb the ships. Mm-hmm. Are you successful? Yes. Mm-hmm. Ship hits my plane. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? Try to jump out. It's too late. Up. 
And as you detach yourself from that plane, allow your spirit now to see what has happened. Look back at that life. See it from a different perspective. And tell me what's going through your mind as you retrace that life. Ego. Too much ego. Mm -hmm. And as you look at those lives, you can see what role you played in that life. What was the purpose of it and the lessons? What was their purpose for living that life in that way? What did you need to experience in that lifetime? Hate. Hate. And by experiencing hate, what did that do for your soul's growth? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Were you able to forgive yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. So as you forgave yourself, how are you now affecting the life of Sean? How does that lifetime help the lifetime of Sean wanting to come here and help? I have to release. Emotions. Forgive. If he's, is he still feeling all of that hate? No. No. Is there anything of residue from that lifetime that's affecting him now? whether positive or negative. He's helped him to learn to let go. Very good. Which is the whole reason he's here, isn't he? Yes. Very good. Very good. Do you have any, any messages or tips for Sean in this lifetime? He knows. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you now to disconnect yourself from that lifetime, leaving that lifetime to go on its own, now understanding that that life was to learn forgiveness. And I would like to ask about an incident that happened to Sean in which a well-dressed man approached him and gave him a reading. Who was this man? Why was he brought to him? Guide. A guide. Is this one of his guides? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did he show up as a well-dressed man? Do they do that? So, why did that guide need to appear to Sean at that time? Didn't he need to hear something important? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. The guy told him to make a wish. And he smiled. Was that wish something that he needed to do? No. No. Is there anything else that Shaw needs to know about that incident? Affirmation. Affirmation. Affirmation that he's being guided? Yes. Very good. He was also told that his guardian angel was an American Indian woman. Is this true? If it is true, show him a picture of this woman. Is there a picture of this woman? Yes. What's her name? If he can't hear it, have him see the name as it's written. What is the name of this woman? What is it? What does she say? Sacagawea. Sacagawea? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is Sacagawea? Why is she his guide? Protection. Protection. Does she have a message for Sean today? Yes. What does she say to Sean today? Does Sean have any questions to ask of Sacagawea? No. no. Very good. Thank you very much. So I'd like to thank Sacagawea for appearing before Sean today and thanking her for the protection she's giving him. And now he has a question about a stone that he wears on his necklace, a Sentimani. Would you tell me why he is wearing that stone? What does it do for him? It's grounding him. It's grounding him. 
Did he find that stone or did that stone find him? Both. Both. So when he wears the stone, what kind of relationship do they have together? to connect Mm -hmm. to the earth yes Mm -hmm. now he's told me that this stone does not come from earth why has this stone from the space from other place come to help him is it a reminder Not for him. It's for Earth. It's for Earth. Okay. Is there anything he else he needs to know about that stone? No. No. Very good. Very. Good. Now I'd like for you to focus on his body. Do a scan of his body. He wants to know what his body needs the most to achieve his mission, because right now he's got an issue with his shoulder. What's going on with his shoulder? Let's start from there. He's trying to do too much himself. He's trying to do too much himself. So what is this shoulder discomfort reminding him of? What does he need to do to alleviate all of that discomfort in his shoulders? Let others help him. Let others help him. Very good. So I'd like for you to look at his shoulder and tell me what's going on with his shoulder and see if we can, now that he understands that he will need other people to help him. Let's look and see in his shoulder what it looks like from inside. What's keeping it so irritated? How does it look in there? Mm. Very tight. Very tight. So what can we use to begin releasing those muscles? Perhaps a light? Mm. What do you recommend that we use? Vibration. Very good. So I'd like for you now to begin using vibration on his shoulder and allow him to feel that vibration. And as the vibration goes to the shoulder, it begins to release the tension. I'd like for you to see in your mind's eye as those muscles are being relaxed one by one using this frequency. Continue to relax those muscles. And as you relax those muscles, let's put some love in that in that area. I'd like for you to imagine yourself sending love to that area. Acknowledging the fact that your shoulder has been giving you the message that you need help. And by loving your shoulder and giving you the the vibration. Feel how it changes, how it reacts to you. I'd like for you to show a picture to your shoulder of how it would look like as others help you in your business, not straining everything yourself. Picture yourself now working with others Delegating more, allowing yourself to focus on the people. Use your expertise and your mission to come here on earth to help others. 
instead of using your body, allowing others to use theirs. And I'd like to now ask, how does that shoulder look now with all this vibration and love? Stronger. Very good. And I'd like for you to continue scanning the body and tell me if there's any other areas in the body that need attention today. Anything else in the body that needs care? No. No, very good, very good. So now that we have his body taken care of, I'd like to ask, the reason that you brought Sean here today, he said he came out of curiosity, but I'm sure there's more that you needed to tell him. What did you need to tell Sean? Be prepared. Things are happening. How does Sean need to prepare himself? Is it mentally, physically, emotionally? What kind of preparation does he need? Just to know. Mm -hmm. What does he need to know? changing soon. Mm -hmm. Are these changes on the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. How will Sean be affected by these changes? In every way. In every way. Mm -hmm. And what is his role in the earth changes? To help guide others through it. To help guide others through it. Very good. Is there anything that he needs to fear at this time? No. No. Is the, are these earth changes beneficial? Yes. Yes. Very good. So can you please put peace in his heart? Knowing that he is <clears throat> always divinely guided? And will you continue to download to Sean? the information he needs to help others in this time of need. So that when the opportunity arises that he needs to be there for people, that he will just know he'll be able to tap into this wisdom and take action. Can you do that for him, please? Yes. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to tell Sean or anybody else? No. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank you all over. Welcome back. <laughs> wow. What do you remember? Let's switch those. Let's ground you now. I don't need you flying anymore. <laughs> How do you feel, Sean? Oh, sweaty. Sweaty, right? <laughs> yeah. There was a lot going on. Mm. Were you seeing more than what you were saying? Sometimes, yes. Yeah. How do you feel about this experience now? Oh, feel good. Yeah? Now, mm. do you understand where all this was coming from? I do. Mm -hmm. I have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. That you are a commander on a ship. Right. That you're a Torian. <laughs> and did you have an interesting group of friends? 
that all are coming here to help. Yeah. Mm. That was crazy. Mm, interesting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that you're here at an important time as the earth changes. Does yes. that make any sense to you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So is this a session you want to share or you want to keep private? What do you think? I don't know if it helps. Mm, it was interesting. We could take out some personal parts in there, but... Okay, I have no problem putting it out there. Good, good. How long do you think this journey was? Mm. How long do you think you were in hypnosis? 45 minutes or so. We're in an hour and 42 minutes right now. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> time flies when you're having a good time, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, Sean. <laughs> what 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 a session. An Actorian. Okay. How do you feel about that? Uh not surprised, right? Mm -hmm. Could be one of many. So what did your skin look like? Because you said you had different colors. Um the one was like uh It was kinda of rough. It's like a like a snake skin. Oh. But instead of lines or with circles really different colors but he said it was rough it wasn't soft no it wasn't like this it was more like uh almost like an iguana or a oh. snake something like that wow and then your you, you had like three fingers do you remember that mm -hmm. three fingers and about four toes or something and yeah it wasn't five Mm -hmm. Felt like three, <laughs> three or four. Interesting, huh? <laughs> and then you had the little fairy guy that was kind of looked like an elf, Sam. Yeah. And then you had the other two guys that one that looked like you, I think. Yes. And one that looked similar to me. Big, big guy. Yeah. The shield. Yep. He keeps popping up. <laughs> what do you feel about him? Because he was your friend. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. And then you went to a chamber, and then you just went to sleep, and I guess you went to another life? It was like a pod. Some ah, kind of a pod I got into. Wow. And uh, all three of them were there when I got into the pod, and I don't know anything after that. Right. And then you went to another life where you were in a tree, and you were calling the animals towards you because there was going to be a war. That was interesting. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> it almost reminded me of like the Noah scene where, you know, the animals were being gathered to be in safety. But that happened to be a war. Yes. Yeah. I'll have to think about that one. You kind of walked away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we found out that you, had a, you did have an Indian guide. Did mm -hmm. you see her? I just saw a really old face. Really? Yeah, really old. Lots of lines. Wow. Very wise. Kind of like an old wise That's woman. What it felt like. Mm hmm So you seem to still be kind of floating somewhere, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you feel about this whole session? Oh, I got to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and another one was really important was the, the, the fighter pilot, the German pilot. Mm -hmm. That one seemed to really affect you, too. Yeah. 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 There's a lot going on with that one. Yeah. Was there more behind the scenes than you were saying? Uh, not that one. Yeah. From what I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, the pictures were really vivid on that one. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So do you, do you recommend this kind of work for other people to do? You know, for them to get this done? Absolutely. Yeah. So what has it done to you? I mean, you walked in... I lost a pound of weight and sweat. <laughs> uh, I guess I won't realize it for uh, until I soak it all in and yeah, watch the video. Yeah, it takes it takes. It was a lot of stuff. It was a lot. Okay. And you didn't have that many questions, really. But no. but we really got deep into a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. I come back now that I have pressed some practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now while you were talking or not uh -huh. talking. Uh -huh. Were you seeing stuff? Were you experiencing things? Yes. Yeah. That well, you... some, sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah. That you weren't saying? 
Uh, for the most part, I was. There are, there are one or two times where I was just getting lots of pictures, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. didn't see anything. Because a lot of people watch this and they say, well, wh what's happening while well, he's not talking? What was going on during that time? Trying to make out what I'm seeing. Mm, okay, just figuring it out. Right. <laughs> right, the mind's going a couple ways, and yeah, yeah. I don't know, just, just trying, trying to, to figure it out. Focus and good, good. Well, we learned quite a bit during this thing. And um, where is it that you're coming from? Where do you live? Hollywood. Hollywood. And what what kind of work do you do? Anything interesting for anybody to know out there? Uh, <laughs> I just rent paddle boards and kayaks. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> so if you're coming to uh, this area, <laughs> you, you can go. you can do some uh, activity while there you're you go. here. I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what he's here to do. He's tell you all about his business, right? <laughs> 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 terrific, terrific. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this session. I thought it was really nice. We saw a lot of interesting characters in this one. And if you would like a session with me, go to my website, albaweinman.com. Go to my out-of-town page, click on the link on the bottom of the page, and sign up for my newsletter. That's the only way to get a session. About once a month, I send out uh, a newsletter telling you what calendars are open. And if you're in a city near there, you will get that. Um, you will get those links, and then I open it up to the general public to go ahead and get those sessions. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Give me that hug. I deserve a hug for that. Ooh.